Right, welcome back to the channel here on Jared Gunston TV. Um, today, a very cool package arrived at my door, which looks a little something like this. This is the Boss GT1000 Core. Now, if you guys have been following, which I'm sure you are, or else you wouldn't even be watching this video, um, I'm quite a GT1000 fan. I share many patches, I create things, and I like to support the group as much as possible on Facebook. If you don't even know what the group is, go look it up on Facebook, uh, Boss GT1000 and GT1000 Core group. There's two of them. There's one with more members than the other one. That's the one we're all on. Um, all right, I've just very quickly turned it on just to have a look and it seems quite similar to um, the GT1000. So new, I have to untangle my power cable. All I wanted to do was to quickly have a look and just see help you guys get started basically okay come on you power cable there we go all right luckily uh, boss provides you with um with the power supply as soon as you plug it in it's going to turn on straight away like this boss gt1000 core and there it is you've got over 250 user banks or patches. I could go on about all the details. I know a lot of guys have done it already, so I'm not going to go into that yet um, because I need to learn the thing first. But let's see if I can get this device installed. The first thing is I've plugged it in with a USB B cable to my laptop. And what I'd have to do with all of my pedals because I prevent Windows update from happening is you just got to let this go once and it should install the Roland the Roland um, whatever this unit's going to be called let's have a look I hope you don't mind this could be a a long video a short video who knows we're just going to plug it in and see if I can program a sound from my GT1000 on the floor behind me and um, to see how powerful this small little thing is. The first thing I noticed when I unboxed it is just how small it actually is. Uh, let's go have a look here. I don't see anything from Roland, which means it should hopefully be installed. All right, we'll close it up. So first things first, you need to go to uh, the boss website and download the software. I haven't done any of this yet, so consider this a walkthrough in getting your software up and running. GT1000 Core. This is how easy it really can be. I'm just going to move this mic a bit closer. There we go. Should be able to hear me okay. You know. Okay, GT1000 Core, Guitar Effects Processor. Now, even that picture there makes it look nice and big and small, but you don't realize how small this thing is. I mean, look at this. Okay, there it is. He has a mouse. It's ridiculously small. So the pedal board guys are going to love this, but for me personally, the smaller and the more powerful, the better. The core of your creative vision. Okay, there's obviously a whole bunch of things. The features. Um, ultimate sound creation with 24 sim simultaneous effects blocks, including two different amps and a numerous series parallel routing. There are two um, effects loops built in. 32-bit um, ADDA um, and 96 kilohertz sample rate. Ed, I'm glad that they've included this. They say it's not in the synth pedal, the SY1000, but I don't know, man. They sound pretty, pretty much the same to me. So I'm not really certain the difference between Ed and non-Ed 
if it's like a sort of capture of the aired technology, I don't know. Anyway, so what you're going to want to do is go to downloads. Then you're going to want to go and download this. System 1.01, Boss Tone Studio for GT1000 for Windows. If you Mac, there it is. I don't think we need to download this. It should be automatic. I'm just going to double check. Ed Output Select, I'm not going to worry with that because I don't use that. But IR Loader is a must be. Okay, so let's download the system. First things first is I need to know if I am on the correct version. But let's first start these downloads. Uh, boss. GG1000 core. Okay, save. Going to start all these downloads uh, before I check my version. Okay, that should be Tone Central, Tone Studio. Why do I keep confusing it? That's what I was looking for. Your computer automatically downloads the Windows 10 driver from the internet. Fantastic. Give me my IR loader. I came this close to getting a, an IR loader box. So how do we check the version on this? It's normally hold down the exit and turn it on. Um, How do I check my version? Exit. Okay, so while holding down exit, turn on power. You can't really turn on power. You just have to unplug it unless I'm missing a switch. No. All right, so let's unplug. I'm going to pull this down so you can see. Okay, so now we need to hold down the exit button. And fire it up. So I'm holding down exit now. What does that say? 1.0. Okay, so we need to update this. Uh, to update, it's usually hold the right button. Fire up. Uh, let's just double check. Hold the right, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna turn it off again. And here I will show you again, uh, the right button, not the directional right button, the right as in save button. Holding, turn it on. Copy all the files onto the GT1000 core, then disconnect the cable. External drive connected. That's good to know that my USB cable works. There's the GT1000 core. I'm just going to pull that off screen for now. Okay, we have everything we need from the BOSS um, website. Well, for my need. Um, here's the system. So we're going to extract that to its own folder. We're going to do the IR loader to its own folder and boss tone studio to its own folder. So let's go ahead and do system. It should be a bin file. There it is. And pull this in so you can see, just click and drag. Okay, and now that it has uh, copied across, um, I'm just going to eject this. And I'm going to unplug the cable and then you should be able to see what happens. Okay, here we go. What does that say? 
It's exactly the same as the GT1000. You press right to execute. And there we go. And there's usually a progress bar on the 1000, so it'll probably do it along here. So that'll be stage one, it'll fill up all three, stage two, all three, etc., etc. Okay, so while that is busy updating over here in front of me, let's install the IR loader. Okay, next, yes, install. I'm on uh, step number three here. Let's launch the IR loader. And let's install Tone Studio. Okay, I'll keep that off screen for now. Okay, step five is about to complete here in front of me. As you can see. Update complete, turn off the GT1000. So we just unplug, plug it back in, and this time we're going to hold the right button, ah, uh, sorry, the exit button, just to check the version. Should be 101. Yep. Cool. Making progress. And now with this version, you can go to the moon. Uh, no. Okay, I'm going to make connection with my USB cable. And by the way, this is a normal cable I use for an Android phone. I am connected, so let's see if I can connect. Uh, is it going to say GT1000 or is it going to say GT1000 Core? Connect. Let's just try that. It should say Core. No, that, that is correct. Um, okay, so just note, if you have a 1000 and a Core, when you connect with the IR loader, it's only going to say GT1000. Uh, boss, you might want to just name that. It, it's purely just for not loading to the wrong thing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to load some of my favorite cabs. Um, this is one of my latest from ML Sound Lab, which is that one, which is the Cab of Destruction which I believe is the Guns N' Roses slash Marshall something, something or other. All right. I must be honest, I prefer using this cable as opposed to the old um, MIDI type USB, uh, printer USB cable. Because the printer one, you don't often have them just lying around. You know, definitely comes in handy. Okay, I just want to check what other cabs I've got on my GT1000. Wow, that's busy.
Okay. This one is destructive. So this one's going to go on number four. Uh, destructive one. Okay, user one. Oh, let's actually do it in the order of my pack. Okay, let's load. Um, where's jungle? That's my lead. Okay, and here's the here's the big brother. So what I want to do is copy the settings from my drive channel onto the GT, but I'm going to do that with Tone Central after the cab work is done. I'm just going to let this keep going. Maybe in the meantime, we can do uh, global EQ. <laughs> oh, my word. If this is the case, boss, you have just made this pedal completely viable for me now. I mean, I liked it. I was willing to put the time in, but I've got a show tomorrow. And I really wanted to try this out, but I thought, I, I don't know if I'm going to have time to redesign all my patches and things. But if I just have to create a playlist with solos and verses and choruses, etc., if that's all I have to do, I can just copy my, my patches then. And then that's incredible because I've got it set for all three guitars as well. I wonder if there's inputs. Input for one. Okay, I can, I need to set my inputs. Okay, but before I do that, let's just back this up. Get new live set. I'm gonna call this one GT1000 to core. Okay. Okay, these are the sounds that I've designed for three guitars. Should I need them? So this is going to take a while just to import. In the meanwhile, I'm going to apply uh, because you normally get how many... Um, 10? Yeah, you get 10 saves for your input levels, and each input level is in dB. So currently, they're all set at zero now. But what I can tell you is guitar number one of mine, I set to minus two. Guitar number two, I set to plus 10. And guitar three, I set to plus 10. Okay, so that's completed. So now if those are my backups. Now, I'm gonna exit again, because now I have my backups. I need this to be connected. I have now disconnected the GT1000, and I'm now going to reconnect the GT core. There we go. Okay, and let's reload up Tone Studio. This is something no one's told me about. This changes everything. It changes everything. Boss, you are a genius. You're a genius. 
This makes me happy because then I've got, I always know I've got a backup on the small one or a backup on the big one. Is it wrong of me that these little things get me excited? <laughs> Okay, so GT1000. So again, I'm gonna say it again in case you missed it. What I said at the beginning of the video where they should maybe change the name to GT1000 Core. Now I understand why they didn't because both pedals use the same software. That's life-changing to me. Sorry, but it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna load in my patches. Like that. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Does happen sometimes with the, even if I have to do them one patch at a time, I don't care, I will do it. Complete. You are joking. Now, let's go into the editor. See, so here's the editor for the, for the core. Let's see if it loads up my, my cab. Okay, so for acoustic, there is no cab. That's fine. For clean, Okay, obviously I've got my slots saved differently on. So what you, what, another tip, keep your IRs in the same slots on both pedals so that it becomes interchangeable. I'll do that in my own time, but for now, let me just, um, it was mega green. Save, save, save. Okay, uh, green dirt box. It's called green, but it's not. <laughs> it was. Uh, this one's now Friedman. Okay, let's write, write, write. Okay, let's go into destruction. See, that's on user 12. You see how it correlates properly to how I have it set up. Where is it actually that one? Save. But uh, now at least I know some basic house cleaning is just to keep your IRs in the same order. But I know what you guys are waiting for. You want me to plug this thing in and see just how close. Shush phone. Just how close they both come. Uh, jungle. Save, save, save. All right, so now does it work? <laughs> that is the question. This is something I mentioned on the group before. Um, just so that you sort of show ready, like for the sake of this demo, I'm only going to be using the first five patches. So all you have to do is go into menu. Um, it should be a play, play option. Minimum, maximum. So now we're going to turn that all the way down. The maximum. Down to five. And the reason I do that is if, if you hit patch. If you hit patch up on five, it goes back to one again. So it looks a little like that. Right, so now this. Technically, it should be gig ready now. So let's compare the two, shall we? Let me grab a guitar. GT1000 clean. GT1000 overdrive. GT1000 drive. 
just peeking there a little bit. Solo. GT1000 is now turned off. I'm now going to replace it with this. Okay, and then you just plug into the phone. GT1000 core clean. Pretty much identical. GT1000 overdrive. Perfect. Drive. And solo. That is perfect.